35 year old Weber Genesis fired up locking the dust off her getting her all cleaned up getting the redhead looking good folks got the big tuna steaks today well one big tuna steak for me <clears throat> been a few months since I used the redhead got her all cleaned up looking pretty good folks Oh, these little tables are just showing their age, folks. Been four years sitting in a Wisconsin winter. I think I'll get these redone. And I'll take them off in this winter time. I need to get a cover for her. Poor gal. There it is. Got the cast iron grates. I rebuilt this thing, folks. Four years ago. All new parts. Everything on this thing is brand new. All the valves are new, these knobs are new, all new flavor bars, all new tubes. I'll leave a link to the build of this pit down below. You show the restoration part of it. The only part I couldn't get new was the old grease tray trap down here. Or the funnel, right? They don't longer carry that. But everything else, at one time this was brand new. All these were brand new. I got the shelf that goes in here. Brand new. All right, folks, we're going to get this all cleaned and oiled and slap a tuna steak on here for lunch. We'll be right back, folks. All right, guys. Hope you can see me okay. It's a little hot and humid here in northwestern Wisconsin, folks. But today, we have fired up the redhead. After you saw me cleaning her all off, getting the redhead ready to roll. Right there, folks. There she is. One thing that's cool about these old Webers is the paint will get darker as it heats up. All right, today we're going to make a a tuna steak. The tuna. Got this on sale today. It was $16. My buddy at the meat counter gave it to me for 8 bucks, folks. I figure I can't pass that deal up. Grilled tuna on a 30 year old Genesis. Make sure your tuna is ice cold. I had this in the freezer for a while. Yeah, beautiful tuna filet, buddy. About the best we do here in northwestern Wisconsin, though, folks. Hey, folks, I'm back. Couldn't find my paper towel I had out here. When anytime you're growing fish, you want all the moisture off of it, folks. All right. To keep it from sticking, you don't want your any type of fish. Today we're going to be using this new stuff from Uncle Steve. Sweet dessert shake. The reason I picked this for tuna, because it has lots of sugar in it. And sugar will caramelize. That's my theory for today, folks. And we're also going to do a light coating of the sweet and spicy. I like my tuna a little spicy, folks. But, rub it down a little olive oil first. Ah. Now we're going to hit it with some dessert shake. Now, I never used this before, so I'm going to kind of... Go a little light. Sometimes I get carried away with your Uncle Steve. And this one I'll go on a little bit heavier. Alright. We'll flip it over. We'll do the same thing on this side. Oh. <clears throat> little light on the Dessert shake a little bit heavier on a sweet and spicy. I don't know how this will work on tuna. We're going to find out. Alright. We're not going to worry about the sides today, folks. <clears throat> Let me get a little bit more of dessert on the side here. Got a little sugar in it. Should be alright. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to let's set it on the grill, folks. The grill's been heating up for about 15-20 minutes. You want to make sure you heat it up, 
anything over 450 500 is perfect i got it dialed in around 575 it'll go down i got the grill grates awesomely clean we're gonna put this down right over a flavor riser bar all right we're gonna shut this lid my theory is that uncle steve's dessert shake is going to caramelize and leave us some Oops, sorry. Leave us a nice little grill marks on there. And then we're gonna flip it. And go. We're gonna go about a minute and a half on each side. See how it looks. We'll see how white it gets up on the side. It's been a long time since I grilled tuna on a gas grill. Be right back, folks. All right, folks. Been about a minute and a half. We'll see how much of that white stuff coming up to the side. And yeah, see we getting the white up. Now hopefully this ain't going to stick too bad. You want that hot and oiled. You want to go underneath this fast. Make sure it releases. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to move it over here on the cooler side. Oh yeah. Caramelized just great folks. Check that out. Oh that's amazing. That's what I was hoping it would do. The sugar is in the dessert shake would caramelize that just perfect we're gonna do one minute on this side folks be right back got the fried rice I had to cut a piece off for my daughter she didn't want to wait she likes her tuna rare 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 all right let's cut open see what it looks like folks A 30 year old gasser. There we go. I like mine a little bit more than pink, like she does. That's why we don't tell no one how to eat. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's good, folks. Who would have thought Uncle Steve's dessert shake on salmon would be so good? A little hot. Put some of that fried rice on there. Hmm. There you go, folks. Salmon on 30 year old Weber Jenison. Very good.